Okay, so our first example for properties of limits, uh, use the properties of limits to solve the limit as x goes to 4 of 5x squared minus 4x plus 3. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite the limit. So the limit as x approaches 4 of 5x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now, since, uh, since we are adding and subtracting um, expressions, I'm going to use uh, property 4 and then take the limit of each of these separately. So we could rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 4 of 5x squared minus the limit as x approaches 4 of 4x plus the limit as x approaches 4 of 3. Okay, so we took uh, each of these and we split them up using property 4. Now we can do each one of these separately. So this first one, the limit as x approaches 4 of 5x squared, well I'm going to use property 3 to factor out the constant 5. So I can rewrite it, the the c is the 5 and the x squared is the f of x. So I could rewrite it, take out the constant, so I could write 5 times the limit as x approaches 4 of just x squared. Minus, same thing here, I'm going to use uh, property 3, take out the 4. The limit as x approaches 4 of just x. And then here, the limit as x approaches 4 of 3, that's, uh, we can use property 1, the limit of a constant is just the constant itself. So uh, we could just write 3 there. Now, we got uh, the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared. I can use the, uh, the seventh property um, to split this up. So. I could write 5, the limit as x approaches 4 of just x, okay, and then I would square that whole, that whole limit. So we use property 7, right? So we took the, uh, the function x, we're going to take the limit of x separately and then we're going to square. We took the root, uh, I mean we took the exponent and put it outside minus 4, the limit as x approaches 4 of x, we can use property 2, the limit as x approaches a of x is just a. So the limit as x approaches 4 of x is just 4 plus 3. Okay, now we got 5, and then the limit as x approaches 4 of x, again, I'm going to use uh, property 2 to do this one. So that's just equal to 4, we square that, minus 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3, and that's going to equal 5, 4 squared is equal to 16 minus 16 plus 3, 5 times 16 is 80 minus 16 plus 3, 80 minus 16 is uh, equal to 64, then 64 plus 3, so our final answer is 67. So the limit as x approaches 4 of 5x squared minus 4x plus 3, we used all of the, uh, the properties of limits and we got 67. I want to make one more remark about uh, this question, or any question really, where you're uh, using properties of limits to solve a limit. You pretty much want to break down the, uh, the limit using these properties until you get to either property 1 or 2. So if you get to property 1, something like this, where the limit as x goes to 4 of a constant, well that's just going to equal the constant. And uh, an example of a property 2 would be here, the limit as x goes to 4 of x, you could just plug in. Um, whatever the x is approaching or the a, which would be 4 in this case. So you always want to uh, break down the limits until you get to these two, uh, one of those two properties. And um, 
if you if you get to the limit without getting to these um, so for example like just plugging in four right away here without taking out the constant uh, your teacher might dock marks on the test so make sure that you break it down right to its raw form and its raw form is getting it down to these two properties right here